look y'all we back at it again y'all see it's a nice day out it's another vlog y'all see i got the truck out man 6 -oh power stroke things but this probably video gonna be a uh, should you buy a 6 -oh power stroke in uh 2024 man this, this is mine's right here little walk around 2004 she's dirty so don't say shit because i know how y'all be a little chippy paint i just got her back out the shop different tail lights and all of that but yeah this but let's get into this video though so all right for real but should you buy a 6-0 power stroke i'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all <sighs> these trucks man man they ain't no joke this is how i say man i i don't even know where to start for her to tell you the truth because i'll tell you this when i first brought the truck Dude told me, he was like, yeah, everything running good. Trucks in great condition. Uh, uh, you should have no problems. I daily it. Boom. And you know everything online. Y'all be reading. Anybody that knows about the fours and the six O's. Man, you know them, you know them head gaskets. You got to get it studied and all that. So I'm like, I'm like, he like, yeah, it ain't, it ain't pushing no cooling. I checked everything. It was straight. Boom. So I drove it home. Sounding great. Y'all know it got that mean ass whistle sound. It's sounding great. I'm like, okay, man, I'm going to get it. I ain't buy it for that much, like th like three ish, four ish, boom. So I'm driving home. First week is good. And then boom, here come the first problem I got with it. It was when it'll warm up, it wouldn't. It went, okay, so I'll drive it. When you turn it on in the morning, it'll turn on fine, make the loud ass nice whistle sound, boom. But when you get in it and it's warmed up, you turn up, you get out the truck and come back to get back in it, boom, it's out. They were saying it was my high pressure oil pump and something else. I'm like, okay, so I get that chain, boom. I'm driving again. Something else go wrong with it. I'm not getting booze. Boom. Something else go wrong with it. And then my coolant, my gaskets fail. So, boom. Then I had that. So, yeah, I got it studded and everything. That'll be another video talking about, you know, studs and all that. But, yes, yeah, so I got it head studded now. It's all done. They revamped everything in there. But, really, should you buy one of these? In my opinion, to tell you the truth, I don't think so. Because... If you don't got enough money for these trucks, man, you gonna be out here looking crazy. These gnats is getting annoying. Because, don't get me wrong, yeah, there is trucks out here that you can get that's, that's already studded and boom, boom. But if you trying to get your first truck and you young and you want a diesel, I understand you go get these. They be on Marketplace. Man, these damn bugs. They be on Marketplace for like four. And, you know, you you, you be like, ah, right, that's a good deal. I should get it. Ah, ah, ah. Man, if you, I ain't gonna lie, if you ain't got the money to go get it head studded and gasket and all that crap that go come with that, I don't advise you to do it. The reason is, is because like I said, man, they're problematic. But like, you know, there's always gonna be somebody on YouTube that's gonna say, oh yeah, I got one and ain't, you know, it ain't had no problems. But if you young and if you can, you know, get the 7.3. I know that come with its problems, wiring and it's old, no power. If you want for it. You know, if you can afford a 5.9, get the 5.9 or the 12-valve or the 24-valve. Val. You got the money, go get the 6.7. I'm, I'm personally a Cummins, a Cummins guy, but I needed a diesel truck because I needed to pull some stuff. And this was the cheaper one on the marketplace, as y'all seen in my other videos. My other truck got hit by a damn tree. A tree fell on it because of a damn storm. So I lost that one. I went and got this one because I needed one quick. But, man, this thing came with problems. But, like I said, in, in 2024, if you, if you really want one of these... Man, they sound great. But it's just, like I said, man, they, they come with so many problems. And it's so annoying. But, yeah, like I was saying, man, it's it's really up to, it's not really up. But I, like I said, man, to me personally, now that I got it studded and everything, truck run great. I had it for about, I'll say, four or five days now. I haven't got any issues out of it. All my power series, it got good power. And it's just, do you really, do you really want this truck? You know, that's really what it is. And do you have the money to really fix this truck? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, do you got the money to really fix this truck, man? Most people, you know, they don't got another between five to nine grand to get the truck head studded gasket and all that stuff and all will come with it if you need other stuff if you need heads but sometimes the heads be warped it's a whole bunch of stuff that go on with this truck and like i said it sound great 
tip. When I first brought the truck, it sounded great. It didn't even end when I scanned it. As you can see, I got my gas gauge on the ABS. The gas gauge, like I told y'all in another video, it's broken. I got to get the sending unit, so don't worry about that. But it's it's just like when I first, like I said, when I first brought the truck, I put the scanner, all that stuff, it was running fine. And it's just it just broke down on me bit by bit. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. Me personally, would I ever buy a 6 -0 again? No. Hell no. And I really ain't a Ford guy. Like I said, I'm a Cummins guy. I love him, but I had a 6.7, but it's just, man, I needed a diesel. I needed the hogs. I live out in the country. As you can see, I'm on the back roads now. I needed a diesel, man. So, And this was a cheap one that I can get in all the five nines. They were charging arm and leg on Facebook, man. And some of them things were beat up. But you know, that's how them Cummins guys be. It's just, I don't know, man. These six O's, I say for a young kid, I wouldn't advise you to get it. Because you gotta put some money into this truck. If you don't buy it already studded, now if you got the money to get it, sometimes they say the trucks be studded, but a lot of people be lying. But you know, if if you got the money to get it studded, then all means get it. It's, this is a great truck. I've had no problem. They got great towing comparison. I told the other day ago. Not capacity, good towing power. I told the other day ago and stuff. Did great. But it's just like I said, you got to have the money for these trucks, man. It's like, once something breaks, something else breaks, man. And, that's, and that gets you mad. You know, you don't buy a truck for it to break, you buy a truck for it to work. But like I said, now, I'm going to make a separate video on, you know, head studs and pros and cons of the truck. You know, because I got it studded now, and, it's, and you know, after the studs, like I said, it's, it's running magnificent. It ran better than when I first bought it before it broke on me. And it, when it first bought it, it was running, I thought it was running great, you know? It's just like, it's just, man, for me, you know, I'm older, I, I'm, I got a job, and I make decent money. Yeah, I can work on the truck, get it fixed, put it in the shop, take my time, pay it off. But for a kid that this is all they got, and this truck break, and you need this truck, I don't know, man. You know, that's kind of, that's kind of, uh, I don't know, that's kind of dangerous, man. Because like I said, who want to buy a truck and it, and it break? You know, so that, that, that's my take on should you buy a, a 6.0 Power Stroke slash 6 Blow <laughs> in 2024, man. But stay tuned, y'all. I got a lot more videos coming out. I'm gonna start being more consistent. Cause like I told y'all, once I get my truck back, it's on and popping. And I got my truck back. And uh, this is the weekend, Saturday, so I might, you know, might get a little fishing in the, the next uh, videos after this. Cause you know, you know I like fishing, y'all. I can't, I can't help that. Shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna catch up with y'all when I uh, when I get into something else.